Nigerians. The former governor of Kaduna State, Governor Nasser Erufai, in trouble over his deadly comment on Christians. See so what can beg God to do against him. That wow, Nigerians. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, has strongly criticized Nasser Erufai, the former governor of Cardinal State, for his recent remarks regarding Muslim dominance in Nigerian politics. In a viral video circulating on social media, Erufai allegedly stated that the success of Islamic dominance in Kaduna has been replicated at the national level and will continue indefinitely. During an interview on Arise News, Reverend John Hayap, the Christian of Khan in Kaduna State, expressed his disappointment with Erufai's statements, although he found them unsurprising. Hayab noted that the former governor has a history of making decisive remarks that have, that have the potential to ignite religious conflicts within the country. Hayab further emphasized, This video is authentic because that is who Erufai is. Many of us know him. Many of us have known Erufai for making such statements plotting these issues and masterminding these actions, we have been accused of opposing him for other reasons. But now God has exposed him to the Nigerian people. If you have known Erofi for the past 20 years and watched his video, you would recognize the familiar Erofi because he hasn't changed. He remains a chameleon, a pretender. The Kaduna State Khan chairman also criticized Erufai's assumption that the victory of Bola Tinubu, a prominent Nigerian politician, was solely due to Muslim votes. He have debunked this claim, stating that Tinubu's victory was a result of collective voting, including significant support from Christians in various states. He highlighted examples such as Benue State, where the Christian Population accounts for 90%, yet Tunubu emerged victorious. Hayab urged that Erufai's remark revealed an inferiority complex and a desire to display his perceived strength. He concluded by urging Nigerians to understand the underlying motives behind Erufai's comment. Stating, Erufai is up to something and I am going to review this agenda so that Nigerians can comprehend instead of wasting time debating and urging with him, arguing with him, let us observe what he is planning and see if it materialized. The Christian Association of Nigeria strongly condemned NASA Erufai's statement characterizing them as decisive and potentially inciting religious tension. Hayab remarks shed light on the history of Erufai's controversial statements and called for vigilance among Nigerians to despair the motives behind his provocative comments. <clears throat> For me, I say the God of creation shall deceive Erufai and shall not live to see the end of this year. Hmm. Someone just dropped that. Christians in Nigeria are not united. I am sorry for them. And they will face jihad war before their eyes will be open. May Erufai never see the peace in his life. The whole world is now fully aware that he is the reason for all the religious crises in Kaduna State. So the government of Nigeria should hold him for these atrocities. Hmm. Did you say government of Nigeria? Can you always talk bad against Muslims when they 
we Muslims reply you, it becomes trouble. During election, you tell Christians not to vote Muslim. Your church not be. So, Ibrahim, Kabiri, okay, Damsa. Okay, someone just dropped that. See, like, um, what I always tell people here, until we understand our politicians, we will never see light in Nigeria. Nigerian politicians, we use religion and ethnicity to set fire against us. You can imagine what is coming out from a leader, a government figure. So, what can you not think about what is going on in Southern Kaduna for years now? Killings have been going on there. Governor Erufai have not done anything to make sure that this killing stop. You see, when God will expose you, he will use you to expose yourself, or he will use your closest person to, to expose you. Governor Erufai has exposed himself. He has been the architect of the problem in Southern Kaduna. He hates Christians so much. He hates Christians so much. People who are saying that Christians said uh, they should not vote for Christian Christian uh, uh, ticket and all that. If not them, then go do them. Is it because this is affecting Christians? Then they talk, say, wait till you know, say, if they do one to you, you not go like them. No do one to somebody else. Muslims, they have succeeded, right? And Christians help them to do so because they are not united. How can in a religious country like us, Nigeria, you are picking a Muslim as a running mate when we have Christians? Look at what a Muslim is saying. Then tomorrow you say there will not be crisis when these people are, when they will be the one to be instigating it. But if you have a Christian there, somebody will be there to be protecting. Ah, that one not good now. Not be so that they do. If you guys can recall what happened in Sokoto, during um, when those uh, Deborah Samuel, uh -huh, the, when they killed Deborah Samuel, you can understand even our president what is said. For you to understand these people, killings is not a crime. And that is why bandits and Boko Haram keep on killing. And uh, then they see I'm like, uh, common criminals. That is what. Lao Mohammed said, bandits, they are just common criminals. You call those people common criminals. You call them common criminals. Then he said, agitators are terrorists because they have banner. Why bandits who have destroyed Nigeria, who have chased out millions of Nigerians from their ancestral homes, killed uncountable Nigerians? Life don't, don't be difficult for Nigerians because of these people. And you are still saying, they are common criminal because they are of the same fate. Until we Nigerians wake up to see our real enemies, Nigerians will not move forward. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.